They don't, don't need fast for them no more. I got them. Certain things you can fast and pray. And God said, no, nah, too late for that. I got them. Mm. I'm going to deal with them. I got them. Ooh. Let me speak this up. In Daniel, the second chapter, verse 20 through 23, begs the question, it's God that raises, or the statement, it's God that raises men up and bring men down. Right. Daniel, the second chapter, just for the sake of time, verse 27 through, through 28, God wants to be glorified. Yeah. And we are commanded to make his praises no. Daniel the third chapter verse 12 begs the question or the statement don't allow your position to cause you to denounce your God. Mm. Pause and back position. Well, I got an opportunity to get a raise but it's going to cause me to have to do this, that, and the other that I know is against God. Well, they want to give me another position but I know it's going to cause me to you have to do this, that, and the other. They want me to be the over security team, and it's going to cause me to, to be head security at Magic Kingdom. A Magic City. I'm over security at Magic City. I make sure, amen, the dancers get back to amen. You don't believe. All right, amen. Magic Kingdom. Daniel 3 and 25. Talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He may not get you out of the fire, but he surely will get in the fire with you. Daniel 3rd, chapter verse 29 through 30. It says promotion, or, or it, it, what I got from that is promotion comes after the fire. When you read those scriptures, you find out Nebuchadnezzar promoted Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego after Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out the fire. Because the testimony was from Nebuchadnezzar, did not we put three men? Right. Behold, I see, I see four, four men. And that fourth man looks like the Son of God. In my closing, let's look here. It says, in Wikipedia, it says in biology, poisons are substances that cause disturbances in your organism, usually by chemical reaction or other activity. On the molecular scale, when an organism absorbs a, su a sufficient quantity of something that does not agree with the system, what that means is you have been contaminated. Contaminated means uh, it is the presence of an unwanted constituent. Con uh, uh, contaminates or, or an impurity in a material or your physical body, a uh, natural environment in a workplace. Uh, etc. etc. Uh, how many would allow me? Hey, uh, I got this right here. Do I have a volunteer? Just anybody. Somebody wave your hand real quick. Uh, come on, come on, Sister Yolanda. Come on, wave your hand. Come on up here. Come on, Sister Yolanda. Y'all give her a hand as she comes. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna stay up here long. <laughs> give me your arm. <laughs> Y'all saw her reaction. Yeah. Sit back there. <laughs> Somebody up. Come here, Alex. I don't know if I should do that. Come here, Alex. Come here, Alex. Put your arm out. Sit back down, Alex. Come on. India, come on. I want to infect you. Yeah. What's the poison? Come on. Would you allow me? Oh, your gosh, would you allow me to stick you in poison? Sit back down. <laughs> Where my nurse is at? No. Come here, Sister Jane. Oh, no. uh, you just stay right there. Would you allow me to stick you with some poison? Why not? Because you don't want to be poison. <laughs> Anybody else that would allow me? My children, both of them, wave their hand. They say, we know that ain't going. What? This is kind of rigged up. I bet it's blue, eh? <laughs> but nobody in here would allow me, if you're in your right mind, that's right, that's right, that's right. to infect you with some poison. That's right. It could be HIV, herpes, right. uh, tuberculosis, it could be hepatitis. We don't know what's on here. Because we know it's not sterile and we didn't see them pull it out the pack. All right. All 
your body is toys, one of the first things that happens is a fever. When you go to the doctor, they're gonna put, they're gonna check your blood pressure, and they're gonna check your, your, your temperature. Because if your if your body is too high, then that lets them know that something has if something has gotten inside of you. God help me in here. That ain't supposed to be that. Thanks, Come on. Some of you spiritually got feet. And when you have a fever, that means that you're susceptible. Now, I'm not a doctor. I got nurses in here. But I believe that means you're susceptible to get more infections. So sometimes, but oh, help me, Lord. Sometimes what they have to do is put you in isolation. God is trying to isolate y'all, but you keep calling folks. Come on over here. Brother Marcus, only thing you had the last four days was an isolation. He didn't know I was preaching this today. But he isolated you so he can deal with you. And get some things out of you that ain't supposed to be. And some things in you that should be. Why don't you wave your hand and say, isolate me, Lord. Isolate, isolate me, Lord. I'm through. I'm about through. Fever lets them know. If you're infectious with something, your nose will begin to run. Sniffing. Child, you see, they got the mucus or whatever. You know something's going on. Because it's not normal. So it's a warning that, that something has got in the system that does not belong there. And God, in His just omnipotent, just knowing all, He made the body to automatically release and get rid of the poison. We are the body of Christ, and if we stick together, God has. Giving us everything we need to get rid of preach boy, get rid of all the poison. That's why you can't be in the body and still fornicate because it's part preach factory. It's poisonous to the body. So what do we do? We get rid of it. You can't be in the body and keep shacking because it's poisonous. And we have to get rid of it. You can't keep drinking and smoking and smoking and drinking and still be in the body. We got to get rid of it because it's when you go to a physical, they ask you one or two other questions after they do this or whatever, take your temperature, take your blood. They ask you, uh, uh, when's the last time, or do you smoke? Do you drink alcohol? It's the reason why they ask y'all this, why they ask us this. And I hate to see some of y'all here talking talk to the plea boxes and go to the doctor and see what the doctor did, man. Really, Lord. Well, 